One of the biggest grinds in Black Ops 6 is going to be the Mastery Camo grind. Every single mode will have its own Mastery Camo that you'll be able to get. We've seen videos over in the past, but what you probably don't know is the effort and the work that you'll need to do in order to get these. So this year, it's a little bit different. Instead of the original way where you have to level up weapons in order to actually work on the challenges, you don't have to level up weapons at all this time around, so that's actually really good news. But in return, you have to actually do a lot more challenges than previous Call of Duty titles. Real quick though, I want to remind you guys, I have been double uploading every single day over the last couple of days. If you've missed any news videos in regards to the Prestige Mastery grind, the 33 brand new weapons that you're going to have to use in order to get these camos and so much more, I'll have all those videos linked down in the description. Before we get into it, a quick word from our sponsor, Mitch Cactus. It's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators, help you unlock mastery camos like Interstellar or Borealis, all the zombie schematics and even Black Ops 6 packages coming soon. They don't use unlock tools or mods, so you know it's it's 100% legitimate and they have over 10,000 verified reviews on Trustpilot. You can use code Trizzo for a 5% discount. The link will be down in the description. So unlocking weapon camos, each quest for the final mastery camo, which is dark matter for multiplayer, nebula for zombies, and abyss for warzone is broken down into three different steps. The very first step is the military camos. These are the camos that you are required to unlock. There's actually a lot of them, a total of nine for every single weapon in every single mode. These really aren't the best from the photo that you can see here. They're just like camouflage, topographic, not really the craziest type of effects, not animated, doesn't even look like they glow in the dark. These are like the militaristic, realistic type of camos that you would probably see in real life. Now, the majority of challenges based around these military camos are going to be headshots. So right here, it says each weapon camos journey begins with the nine military camos that are unlocked sequentially by reaching progress milestones in each mode. For most weapons, these are progressed by earning multiplayer headshots, zombies, critical kills, which which is basically headshotting zombies and Call of Duty Warzone just getting eliminations. This means that in multiplayer, just earning headshots with a weapon will progress through and unlock the nine name military camos. So you unlock Granite at getting five headshots, which is actually super easy. You get Woodland at 10 headshots, Savannah at 15 headshots, Splinter at 20 headshots, Moss 30 headshots, Shade at 40 headshots, Digital at 50 headshots, Hide at 75 and then Red Tiger at 100 headshots. So unlike Modern Warfare 2 and 3, where if you unlock a camo for a weapon, you pretty much get it on any other weapon and you can equip it on anything that you want, right? But in this case, say for example, I use the AS Val, I end up getting Red Tiger, I'm not going to be able to put on the Red Tiger camo on, say, the Tonto SMG until I actually do the headshot challenges for the Tonto. So these exclusive camos are going to be available only for that weapon that you complete the challenges for, which will probably remind you of the older, older Call of Duty tiles like OG MW2. You would unlock Red Tiger for the intervention. You wouldn't be able to use it on anything else. So just want to let you guys know about that. Now, step two are the special camos, which will work a little bit differently. So after you complete all nine military camos for the weapon, you are now able to go into the special camos. They go ahead and provide a photo. This is where the camos start looking unique. Every single weapon will have two unique camos and that will also bring in two challenges. So each weapon has two unique special camo swatches per mode that can only be earned with that weapon only. Special camos can be unlocked in any order once you've gained access to them and each has a different unlock criteria usually related to the strength or play style of the weapon that you're progressing. For example, maybe like marksman rifles or battle rifles, those will probably ask you to get long shots. If it's shotguns, maybe it'll ask you to get like double kills. So they're tailored for the weapon category. and You don't really have to worry about them being very unreasonable with these challenges. Now, what's good about these camos is the fact that you can equip them to any weapon. So once you unlock a special camo, they are universal and can be equipped to any weapon as long as that new weapon has completed the military camos and unlocked access to the special category in at least one mode. It can then be fitted with any special camo you like and use in any game mode you like. Once again, going back to that example, if I have the AS Val, I unlock the special camos. I won't be able to use these special camos on the Tonto unless I actually did the headshot challenges, which is the first step military. Once you complete the military camo challenges, then you can put on the unique camo. So it's a little bit confusing. You'll still be able to universally use this camo as long as you got the other weapons complete. Now, the last step that we have, which is probably the hardest one, and this is going to be the mastery camo. So with the military and special camos now unlocked, so you've completed a total of 11 different challenges. 
you can now begin the mastery grind and it says as previously revealed black ops 6 has four mastery camels available to be earned in each mode multiplayer zombies and warzone and here's what they look like so multiplayer's mastery camo is going to be gold this is the standard gold camo that you will be able to unlock the next camo that we have after this one is going to be diamond and this is for multiplayer as well so they give us a more hd high definition look of what diamond is going to look like the next one that we have is dark spine this is going to be an animated camo and we've seen footage of this before in the past but this is the hd quality photo that they showcase here and then the last mastery camo in multiplayer is going to be the animated dark matter camo not only is it animated but it's also dynamic what that means is as you shoot the weapon it will slowly transform into a different color and this is what it looks like and then the next one that we have this is for zombies the first one is called the mystic gold camo same exact way as you would unlock gold you would unlock the mystic gold camo i'll, I'll show you guys how you guys can unlock them in a second but after that we have the zombies mastery camo known as opal which is basically the diamond version here for zombies and then going on to the next one this is the afterlife camo which is animated and this is what it looks like and we had the clip before as well and then we also have the mastery camo now called the nebula and it is animated as well as dynamic so as you shoot it it will also change colors going from that light blue turquoise color to a deep dark purple and then now into the war zone for the first time ever the war zone mastery you have gold tiger that's available and this is what it will look like then following that you have the diamond which is known as king's ransom and apparently it is animated so usually the diamond camels aren't animated but they label this one as animated and then following that you have catalyst this one is an animated camel as well and then the last mastery camel is called abyss and not only is it animated but it's also dynamic once again meaning that it changes colors now in order to unlock these it's as simple as once you complete all the challenges for the military and special camos it says that you will need to complete one applicable camo challenge and that will unlock you gold now unfortunately in the blog post they don't tell us exactly what that challenge is but once you complete it you will unlock gold for the weapon then after that you will be able to jump into diamond for zombies it's opal and for warzone it's king's ransom access by earning mastery camo tier one for the designated number of weapons in one weapon class so once you get all the ars gold now you'll be able to do the diamond challenge for the ARs. So works in the same typical old fashioned way that we've seen it work with past Call of Duties. And then tier three is Dark Spine. So once you've earned diamond on every single gun in the game, there's a total of 33 guns that you need to do. That includes the secondaries, the launchers, everything brand new. You will now be able to do the Dark Spine challenge for multiplayer, afterlife and zombies and catalyst for Warzone. Once again, unfortunately, they don't tell us what that challenge is, but works in the same exact fashion as we've seen. And then finally, there is the Dark Matter for multiplayer nebula for zombies and abyss for warzone and once you basically get dark spine or the corresponding camo for every single weapon you are now able to do the last and final mastery challenge and that will finally unlock it for you so that's how it's going to work every single mode will have the same three steps so you'll have to do military you'll have to do unique and then you'll have to do the actual mastery grind so you can't do military and multiplayer and then come in and try to do the rest of them in zombies you're gonna have to start all over and do all of them uniquely to that particular mode unfortunately but on top of this there's a couple of other challenges that you are able to do you're probably going to knock these out at the same exact time and these are the reticle challenges as well as the mastery badges so for the reticle challenges reticles unlike the other stuff for example the different attachments that are available they are actually equipable on any weapon very similar to how it is with mw2 and mw3 right now so if you unlock the red wave line reticle which you're seeing here in this photo you can actually equip this on pretty much any weapon that gives you the opportunity to put on an optic so only optics are shared attachments here in the game everything else you're gonna have to level up in order to unlock a particular attachment for it so that's why they mentioned that and every challenge is simple as just aiming down and getting eliminations with an optic and that will unlock you a different one and then that's just how it goes but these are the photos of the different optics that will be available in the game following that we have the mastery badges so it says system overview become an expert and showcase your proficiency with every type of weapon equipment field upgrade and score streak by unlocking a series of mastery badges with each piece of gear as you play multiplayer and zombies in black ops 6 each weapon and piece of gear has its own multiplayer and zombies mastery badge journey assuming the item appears in both modes show proficiency with a piece of content and you'll begin progressing through its three badge tiers so you have a badge one which is bronze then you have badge two with silver and then the mastery badge is gold 
plus a stat tracker. And then they provide photos of what the badge will look like for all the different weapons that are available. So as they mentioned, you have the weapons and then you also have even the kill streaks have their own badges. And then you also got lethals, tacticals, even zombies has its own upgrades as well. So simply just using these items will follow and get you these mastery badges. And more than likely, while you are doing the mastery camo challenges, you're probably going to end up getting these into the gold badges. But anyways, the next thing that we have is the metal collection. So the metal system overview, medals recognize and reward incredible in-game feats with a satisfying metal celebration on the in-game HUD and small XP bonus. There are 200 medals available to be earned in multiplayer and zombies. Many of these medals are returning from Black Ops favorites and staples, and many have never before been seen in COD. Players can now view their earned medals in the after action report the end of each match for the metal collections your metal collection tracks which metal you've earned in multiplayer and zombies and how many times you've earned them in each mode from the metal collection you'll also be able to see what needs to be done to earn any metal you haven't yet been able to earn you can view your metal collection via your stats button in the barracks tab distinguished metals new in black ops 6 distinguished metals are a curated set of medals that highlight specific skill-based feats in each medal category. They go ahead and showcase the medal spotlight, giving us just an idea as some of the medals that are gonna be available. And they actually look really good. And this is something extra that you'll be able to grind for in the game. But what are your thoughts and opinions on this? This is pretty much everything you need to know in regards to the progression and the mastery grind. But if there's anything you guys have questions on, feel free to comment down below and let me know. We're also going to be talking about major leaks that have been going on in the next upcoming videos. So be sure to subscribe if you aren't. But hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.